again. You have to lift up holy hands in the sanctuary and bless him out of Zion. And we can't do that with unforgiveness and bitterness in our hearts. Because God has forgiven us, we have to forgive one another. And if you love God, it's going to be manifested by your love one to another. I thank God for the love that was manifested on yesterday at the 5K run and walk. And the amazing sponsors, I thank God for them, for the incredible runners, uh, for the support of the staff, for uh, Deacon and Lady Thornton doing an excellent job leading the charge. Thank God for Patsy and Angel Gomez who did an incredible job promoting the event. It was just a spectacular, fantastic thing that the mayor showed up and kicked it off and our representative Carl Robinson was here. And, and, and you were helping reunite families. That's what it was all about, raising funds for our kids, raising funds for our families. And so we thank you all for all that participated in whatever you did. But now we're gonna go to the throne room. You can touch your neighbor, we will not cross the aisles. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus. All of our sin and griefs to bear. So Father, we thank you for the opportunity to enter into your gates with thanksgiving and your courts with praise. We thank you for life and breath. For in you we live and we move and we have our very being. We depend on you. You are the source of our strength and the strength of our life. And daily we will worship you. Father, help us to grow in love. Help us, oh God, to live our lives with integrity. Help us, oh God, to be more like Jesus Christ. That even when he was crucified, he said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. And he endured the cross, despising the shame. And Father, we thank you for the glory that was set before you. And I know, oh God, that you have called us to be joint heirs to Jesus Christ. And we thank you, God, that you are going to help us to be more like him. We pray for our nation, our president of the United States. We pray for the election next month. God, you choose the president to sit in the Oval Office in 2017. Father, we acknowledge you. We, you have said if we would ask that you would hear us and you would heal us. So, Father, heal our land today. Heal our nation today. We lift up those that are suffering in their bodies and thank God that by your stripes we're already healed. We lift up those that mourn in Zion and thank you for giving them beauty for their ashes and the oil of joy for their mourning. That you will not leave us comfortless, Father. You are with us. You will never forsake us. We thank you for your presence, for in your presence is fullness of joy. Have your way in this service today. Be glorified. Send the word, God. Make preaching easy. Give us ears to hear and hearts to obey. For it is in Jesus' name we pray. If you agree, clap your hands and shout amen. And amen. Our ministers are coming before you. We believe in the power of agreement. In Matthew chapter 18, it says that the two of you will agree concerning anything, it shall be done in the Father. And God, he can move the mountain. All he needs is faith. We invite you to the altar to receive prayer. We invite you to connect to your voice. And let us make his praise glorious today. Great people are grateful for the cross.
Thank you.